Hi guys, welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about another two tests which are really important. These two tests are vitamin D and iron. Okay. I'm not going to go into too much detail in terms of the readings that um, one wants to get because these are tests you're going to have to do through a laboratory or with your doctor. Okay. Um, currently, there aren't devices that I'm aware of anyway that um, you can purchase to do these tests yourself. Okay. So number one, what we're looking for with vitamin D is the test is referred to as 25 OHD, okay, which is effectively refers to we're looking for hydroxyvitamin D in our bodies, okay. This vitamin, um, for the most part, most people um, have a deficiency, okay, and it's really an important one. So. Get into the sun, the easiest way to get your uh, vitamin D levels up is sun exposure, okay? So um, go in to uh, have a test. Really where your range needs to be is between 40 and 60 NG per milliliter, okay? Don't get too caught up on what that all represents. Just know that your range needs to be between 40 and 60, okay? The next very important test is to test for iron. This is particularly important for um, people or males that are getting on in life, sort of 40 years old and plus, and women who are post-menopausal, okay? So women who are not losing blood through their cycles, okay? This becomes more important for them too. Um, the test is known as a serum ferritin test okay and again what we want is we want our iron levels to be as low as possible um, the reason for this is iron is used um, together with our proteins to build okay and in the building process okay obviously there's protein involved again too much protein in our bodies is going to signal a potential for carbohydrates or glycolysis okay and that potentially has the ability to throw you out of ketosis so you might be eating correctly your ketones might be there um, your sugar levels might be low enough but it could be something either a deficiency in vitamin D or in excess iron that is holding you back okay so these are four tests that you must ensure that you do. The most important, test for blood glucose. Start with that, do that regularly, and then only switch on to ketone analysis, okay? Ketone test strips are expensive, guys. These things are about $3 a piece. So you don't wanna be wasting these, okay? Um, glucose test strips are probably in the vicinity of 25 cents, okay? so. Get accustomed to doing testing, taking a little um, pinprick of blood and putting it in your glucose monitor. Practice with that in the beginning. When you're fey and accustomed to that and you've managed to see more or less the levels that your sugars are fluctuating throughout the body, then switch on to ketones. Okay, so those are the four very important uh, tests. Glucose ketone bodies, third, vitamin D, hydroxy vitamin D, and then your fourth test is iron, okay? The easiest way to get your iron levels down, go donate blood, okay? Women that are still going through menstrual cycles, you should be okay because on a monthly basis, you are losing um, a volume of blood which should keep your iron levels down okay right guys thanks for watching this video i'll be back with you in the next one